And welcome back. There is no escape from being judged, at least by loan companies, your bank, any company you borrow money from. Starting next year, the rules will change as far as your FICO score is concerned. FICO stands for Fair Isaac Corporation. Lenders use your FICO score to determine whether to give you credit. Here to talk us and guide us through all the numbers is Raymond James Financial Advisor, Chris Klepinski. It's good to have you with us. Thanks. So explain what the FICO score is for those who don't know. A FICO score is basically a rating done by the, the credit agencies that tells you whether you are a viable creditor. So whether or not we should lend you money. Correct. And whether or not you'll pay me back. Yes. <laughs> All right. So the score, the higher the score, the better. Yes. All right. Tell us about what's the range. I mean, if you're down in what, the 300s? Well, the, the, the FICO range is from 300 all the way to 850. Um, the average creditor is about 700, um, which means you're going to get better rates on the loans that you're going for. Each credit agency uses a different FICO score, um, whether it's a car loan, a mortgage, or a credit card. All right, so why do they do that? Do they think that um, I can take a chance on you for a car, but I can't take a chance on you for a house? Correct. Is and that how it works? Basically, that's how it works. I mean, um, the numbers in themselves, uh, they look at uh, how, long you've, how long you've had credit, your credit history, whether or not you are uh, able to pay back your credit. And what they're really doing in the changes with the FICO score is now they are adding a layer on top of that, which will allow you to essentially use your, credit, uh, your um, savings and bank accounts in order to enhance your okay. credit score. Which is actually a positive then, isn't it? It's a positive, but that positive is mainly for creditors who don't have access to credit. So what they're doing is they're trying to expand the credit pool because right now there's about 50 plus million people out there that don't have credit. Um, so I see this as a huge positive for the younger population, those starting in credits, and those that are in areas, um, low financial areas, that have an opportunity now to enhance their credit score. So what's the downside? Is there one? Well, I think the downside is, is that, um, you know, lenders will now be taking on a little bit more risk. Um, so if you think back to the housing crisis. That got um, us in trouble. We, we're now, ex because we're expanding that pool, um, we're, we're opening ourselves up to uh, possible defaults. So is that a good thing then? Well, I think it is a good thing. I think we have to be cautious. Um, when using it, but because they're going to look at bank accounts and your savings, and, and um, part of that is in order to um, use this FICO score, you actually have to, as a consumer, you have to opt into it. Okay, so if you don't opt into it, then what? Then they will not look at that, that particular part of it. Um, for a consumer, what it does is it opens, it opens you up now for the credit agencies to look at your bank accounts. And so, uh, you know, it's another privacy issue. Correct. All right. So you, ha you can opt out, though. So that's the yes. good thing. You have to opt in. Uh, opt in. Oh, but you can't. But you can have to opt in. So if you don't bother with that, then you're, you're Correct. golden there. But now I've heard also that if you access your accounts uh, too often, that can actually go against you on your score. Is that true? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to look at your bank accounts and how, how many times do you have uh, negative uh, cash in your account. Um, so they're looking at a four-month history, um, whether or not you go below a certain level, um, whether or not you, you are increasing your uh, amount in your banking and checking accounts. Okay, but overall it's a good thing. This won't happen until 2019, but it's good to get a little warning so that you're prepared as we go into a new year what the changes might be. Yeah, I think the best thing that a consumer can do is go to myfico.com um, to um, educate themselves on the process. All right, and find out their score if they don't know it. Yes. Important stuff. All right, Chris, thank you as always. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. All Great right. to be here. Stay with us. We'll be right back.